Homeward Bound on Newswatch 12 Today is sponsored by Paws and Claws. Welcome back. It's Friday and this morning we are continuing our Homeward Bound Pet of the Week segment, meeting some new furry friends. Mm -hmm. That's right. And today we're joined by Katie from the Oneida County Humane Society and George. Good morning to both of you. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. George seems very happy to be here as well. Very excited. <laughs> um, but what can you tell us about George? He seems very energetic and very, uh, very happy to be here. So George came to us as a stray. Um, we're guessing him to be about a year old. Um, we didn't get a whole lot of information when he came in, uh, but he's a good boy. <laughs> he seems really good. He's like responding to your, your treats and your tricks, and he's just sitting very well right now. Yeah. Absolutely. So what kind of family do you think would be a good fit for George? I think George would do well with kids. I think okay. that he could do well with other pets. Um, so introductions as always, but I think right. that he could do well in any kind of home. I think if parents have a very energetic kid that they want to take a nap more often or go to bed earlier, I think George would be the perfect dog to help tire those kids out. <laughs> tire each other out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just keep each other going all day. Exactly. And you said he's right around one year old, so he still has that puppy, puppy energy going, and that will yeah. eventually slow down. But he is a good dog right now for someone who's an active family, too, correct? Like he's going to need long walks and yeah. some uh, running, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and what kind of, what breed is, is George? George is a mixed breed, so. A mixed breed, okay. He's probably <laughs> got a lot of <laughs> breeds in him. And he definitely knows when you have a treat in your hand, because he's he uh, hopping to grab that right there. <laughs> I love it. So if someone is interested in the adoption process, can you tell us a little bit of, about what that entails? Um, so the ado adoption process starts with you coming to meet the pet. Um, after you've met the pet and done an interview with staff, you can fill out the paper application. And then we go from there. Awesome. And I know the last time you were here, you guys were also talking about a Valentine's Day deal. Uh, did you see any success from that when you had that? Yeah. Um, we had a lot of pets adopted. And Great. It was really, really, it was a really good thing. That's so. awesome. Yeah. So how are your numbers looking right now? Um, I know that we don't have too many dogs right now because we just redid our floors. Okay. Um, so those look really nice. And so... We had a lot of help. We had some people do some temporary <laughs> fosters for us, and then we had we transferred some of our dogs to another shelter because we couldn't have anybody in there mm. while well, the floors were drying. But um, so I know we're low on big dogs. Yeah, that's how fun though. Yeah. And so, what else do you want people to know about George? Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's just a really good boy, and you guys should come meet him. Yeah. Okay, well, for more information, where can people uh, go to find out more about the Humane Society? Um, so you can you can come to our address at 1852 North Stephen Street. Um, we're right across from the bowling alley. Um, you can call us at 715-362-5992, or you can go to our website, ochspets.org. And all that information is on your screen right there. Yeah, that's right. And I want to see, okay, I'm going to have a, tr a treat in my hand. I'm going to see if George can George. do a trick. So George, George, sit. Oh, he's wow, pretty good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> but no, it seems like for, <laughs> for a puppy, he's, he's pretty well trained there. So, it, you know, I feel like if people do need to train him more, it won't be too hard because he has a pretty good base start there. Correct. And you guys have some cats, too. It's not only dogs at the Humane Society. So mm -hmm. do you have a large number of cats available now, too, that people can come look at? Yeah, we definitely have cats to look at. I'm not sure exactly what our numbers are right now, but mm -hmm. I know we have some. He just seems so proactive. I love it. <laughs> like always on the move. I feel like he's a good dog to like keep you going outside every day and getting the fresh air and keep yourself moving. So people want to stay active. You gotta come and get George. Yes, right? exactly. And this week is not a bad time either to come check out some of the dogs or the cats too. So uh, we want to thank you very much for joining us this yeah, morning. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks.